Hello and welcome back to my deck profile series. Today I want to have a look at a deck that um, not many people play at the moment. And in fact it's, it's quite hard to find a template of this deck around because people don't play it that much. Uh, but this is Monarchs. Um, it's, it's mainly uh, the Treeborn Frog Monarch uh, build. Um, now Treeborn Frog... Uh, every turn, when he's in your graveyard, you've got no spells or traps down, you can special summon him from the grave. He can be tributed, whatever. So we've run three of him, so we can just get him out, tribute him for a monarch. All the monarchs have a different effect when they're summoned. Uh, Chaos removes a card when he's summoned. Razor uh, sends one card from the field back to the top of their deck. Um, and three of each of these just golden in this. Um, and this deck definitely is not perfect. Um... There's a lot of cards I might be missing, a lot of cards I might want three of. Maybe I need more monarchs. Uh, there's some strengths and weaknesses to this deck. One of the great strengths of this is um, being able to just keep hitting your opponent's cards one after the other. This, this works on getting advantage. Field advantage, more cards for you, less cards for them. Every time a monarch is summoned, they lose something. And because you've only lost your tree bomb, which you can get back every turn... You don't lose anything, really. Um, and we have Soul Exchange, which is just... Oh my god. This card is from, I think, uh, one of the first starter decks. I think it was the Yugi one. The Yugi starter deck. Yeah, it was the Yugi starter deck. And it was a uh, hollow in it. It was a uh, super rare. And it just sat in everyone's deck. Uh, uh, in everyone's collections, just gathering dust until... The Monarchs came out, and then Soul Exchange became fucking insanely good. And it took a while for people to realise that Soul Exchange was that good. Um, so we run three Soul Exchange, so we can tribute their monsters for our monster. I mean, what the fuck? That's so good. Um, we've run three enemy controller in this deck. Um, we're looking for the second effect. Tribute one monster to target, one face of monster your opponent control, take control of that target. Because we get Tribe one back every turn, that's free. Enemy controller is free. So we can take their monster and tribute it off. And we've got so many tribute monsters. Um, the one disadvantage to this deck is it doesn't run any traps or any protection. Um, enemy controller can be used as protection, but I don't like setting anything because if you set something, Treeborn can't come back. Now, the way we uh, deal with this is we run Trigodia. When you take battle damage, you can special summon from your hand. So if someone's going for game, you special summon him. Gauze is the same. He's got quite a big attack. And I've got three battle phases, which are absolutely amazing in this deck. Um, when they attack, special summon in defense, end their battle phase, and then you've got a monster to tribute next turn. So this deck really revolves around tributing monsters, getting uh, effects, and these are all big monsters. Um, we need... One of the weaknesses is of this is if we don't get Treeborn in the grave we pretty much lose. So we're running three Treeborn Frog, a Foolish Burial which will get it in the grave, one for one which will um, get it to the field, uh, we're running two swap, uh, three Swap Frogs sorry, which when you summon them you'll get a Treeborn in your grave. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards that can get it in there and even if we don't draw it we're probably gonna have Soul Exchange and a Tribute Monster and maybe Battle Fades so it's it's gonna run okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play a few games so let's save this deck and we'll go to the um, we're gonna go to the duel room and for, for the um, more advanced players uh, in fact even the people who are just up and coming um, Give me some advice on these, on these decks, because, I mean, I won't have thought of anything. So, let's find someone to play. Um, okay, let's play this guy. Uh, so, let's see. He's got Yugi. <laughs> okay. So, he says he gets to go first. Uh, it completely depends on our opening hand, really. We just, um, we just don't want to get five tribute monsters. That'd suck. So, let's see how things go. We get Swap Frog, oh, and we get Treeborn, which is great. Um, so let's see how this works. I'll get Soul Exchange, we just need more Tribute Monsters now. So he's playing Light Sworn, or some variant of it. Uh, Charge of the Light Brigade, let's see. Is it full Full Light Sworn? It looks like it's full Light Sworn. So he should be going through his deck for Lumina now. Um, I was thinking about running a couple of Light Swans in this deck, just to get um, Treeborn in the grave. Um, I'm not sure how that... How well it works out, though. 
Oh, he gets Lila. I, I'd prefer Lumina, to be honest, unless he's not running Lumina. But he should be. I, I, he might have Lumina in his hand. Uh, let's see how this works out. I don't, I don't get it at the moment. But I hope he gets more than one monster on the field, because I'd like to go Soul Exchange into Chaos, which is a really, really, really good trade-off. Uh, the only back, uh, the only problem with Soul Exchange is you, um, you don't get to attack. But, you know, it's good. It's fine. Uh, he just sets a monster. Um, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to Special Swim Swap Frog by discarding Tree Bond. So Tree Bond's now in the grave, which is where he needs to be. Swap Frog's effect. We get to send a frog, uh, a level 2 or lower Aqua monster to the grave, and we're going to send another Tree Bond, just in case he somehow removes it. And we don't want to be drawing frogs now. Because that was a Special Swim, we can, uh, we can tribute this for Chaos and target his face down monster. Hopefully this goes through. Maybe he's got Effect Veiler, I'm not sure. And it was a Magical Merchant. Wow, I haven't seen that card in a long time. Uh, we'll go for 2400. Hope he doesn't have Gauze. If he has Gauze, that sucks. Uh, no, you don't take... No. You don't take 1000. It wasn't a Dark. Okay. Uh, we're going to end it there, because I don't think he can kill me in one turn. But I may be wrong... Oh, shit. I'm setting this. Since he has gores. Ugh, oh, that sucks. I don't like him having gores there. Um, it completely depends on what his turn entails now. He's going to attack. Goes Lila. Um... Lila's going to go to defense and try and kill my back card. I'm going to tribute my Chaos and take control of his Gauze. Just to protect me for this turn. And next turn I'll go crazy with uh, Zaborg. Okay. We'll see how this goes. He's got a lot of cards. We don't. Which is not good. But we do have these in the grave, so it completely depends on what we draw. We just want to be drawing tribute monsters now. Alright, so we change control back. Let's see what he gets to his grave. Light Ray Daedalus. I don't know what that is. I have no fucking clue, guys. So you get Treeborn back in defense. Oh, that's a good card. I love Razor. Especially someone in defense. Um, I kind of want Treeborn there in defense as like a backup, you know, to save my life. So I'm going to activate Soul Exchange on Gauze. And then tribute him for the bulk. And destroy his token. So they're both gone. I like that. Pretty good pretty good trade off there. Okay, let's end our turn. So we end with Treeborn and Zaborg. He can't put his Lila back to attack. I prefer he doesn't have Celestia here. But he can go Chaos Sorcerer if he wants. Um, what card is this? Herald of Creation. Once per turn you can discard one card. Tell you level 7 or higher. That's a really good card, you know. That's a really good card. I might use it. Go for it, buddy. Uh, why is he asking before he discards? It's kind of a cost, mate. It's kind of a cost. Kind of a cost. Um, there we go. Discards. <sighs> All right. Let's see. What can you have? BLS back? Yeah. Fuck. That's a really good. Really good card. That's really really good in lights. I might run that. This isn't looking good for us though, because we did only have Razor. Uh, ooh, two four stars. That's not a bad idea. This guy's pretty good. Let's see what he gets. Steal some roach. Okay, I don't know why he gets that. And then he's going to go into Black Luster. Has he got any darks left after that? He does. He's got gores. That's not good. Uh, are we going to be taking 1900? No, if he's smart, yeah, yeah. We'll take 36. Let's see. What's he doing now? This isn't good, guys. 
This ain't good. <laughs> okay, let's see what he goes for. Reincarnation? What is this? Light Ray Gear Freed? What the hell are all these? It's so crazy. He gets Gores back, just for funsies. Wait, did he just make it so he's got no darks left? Okay. And this guy... Once per turn, you can target one field spell card and two other cards destroy them. Okay, so that's just a monster. It's just a stick. Well, this actually helps me out a bit. Uh, I thought I was absolutely fucked, but now he's got no darks in there, so... He can't resummon his uh, Black Luster if I put it to the top of his deck. Um, depends, what has he got? He got Reborn or something? I don't know. I don't even understand. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Okay, let's see what he does. Yeah, he's, he's doing it right. So 36. So 600, 3000, and 2600. Hmm. This don't look too good, guys. So, special summon and defense. Um, so we'll go Chaos, Target Black Luster. Completely depends on the monster he's got in his hand right now as to whether or not we lose. Maybe I should run Substitute in this, I'm not sure. Target, buddy, target. Okay, banish, buddy. And then we're going to attack the Steel Swarm. Okay, so it completely depends on what he draws now. If he draws a monster with like 1600 or more attack, he's won. If not, then yeah. Uh, we've got another turn and we might be able to turn this around. Let's see what he's got. Where are we what does this do? Needs to have five or more light monsters with different names. Once per turn, when a spell attack has activated, you can banish a warrior tokens from your grave and negate the activation. Wow, that's kind of cool. Uh, has he got five different lights? Two, three, four, five. He does. Okay, he wins. So let's admit defeat. Let's hope he takes the rematch. Because I would like to play against his deck again. I actually like the idea of this. Because they're all different ones with different names. So done siding. Now I didn't draw any uh, of my backup, like my uh, battle faders and gauzes, which kind of made it a bit harder for me to take anything. So we drew foolish first, which is just great. So let's just go foolish. And put treeborn in the grave, and then end our turn. Which is good, I like it. We have five watchers. This is a watch chat. Back to monarchs. Apparently so. <laughs> okay, so it's just Lila. 1700. Happy days. And ends turn. One light swan. Two light. Wow. She does good for herself. So, what do we want to do here? So, we drew frog. He could bring back frog in attack mode. And then go to creature swap. Or we could just go fucking crazy and just go straight into chaos. Banish plus. Okay, let's attack for 2400. Okay. Now we're going to end our turn. Hope for him not to go absolutely mental on us. Come on, buddy, you can do it. We're just going to go... I'd say the, the problem with his deck is probably um, consistency, because, I mean, he, he's got to run, like, three solar recharge, so it'd be hard for him to have all those light swans and all those really crazy other light monsters as well. So let's hope he just doesn't do well. I mean, what what's he doing with this guy? He wants this guy back. If you control no monster, you can normal summon this card without tributing. Um, if he gets attacked, everything goes back to the deck. I think that's pretty much the... Um, wow, we drew all our frogs. Just lovely. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's getting back in attack and creature swap. That's do a bunch of damage. Actually, actually, allure darkness is pretty good here because I could set my cards, play allure, and if I don't draw a good card, my tree bonds get discarded. <laughs> um, ah, whatever. Let's do some damage. Hmm, I really want to play allure. How many darks do I have in my deck? Three battle fader, Trigodia Gores, two more Chaos, so it's 7 and 31. Uh, I'll end my turn. Hmm, I think it's not a bad idea to play a lot. It's called Manning Up, guys. Okay, he's got Solar Recharge now, he might be going just a little bit crazy. So, how many different lights are in there? One, two, three, four, five now, fuck. You can go the old, uh... Dark Gear Fruit. Uh, he's got that guy who can be normal summoned without a tribute. We'll see how that goes. Five watches. Wow. I don't like losing when people are watching. <laughs> you know who doesn't like losing at all? Aaron. That's why he doesn't play me. I'm like, oh, Aaron, we should do a video. And he's like, yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um. Yep. I mean. Return all the monsters on the field to the hand. So everyone gets them back. And then I take 600. I think that's correct. Don't know why he wanted to do that. He's just lost because of it. You fucking derp. Let's see a battle fader. You a battle fader, buddy? Okay, so it's one all. So we'll go one more. Hmm. Maybe we need more monarchs in this. Because it's quite it's been quite easy to get the tree born in the grave, but we just haven't had too much to tribute for it. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, I think I'll make this into a couple of videos and uh, then... Oh god. Oh, I like Max C here. And Dark Dust Spirit is lovely. Just lovely. Every end phase goes back to your hand. And when it's summoned, you destroy all, all monsters on the field. It's fantastic, man. And I like having Battle Fader. It just gives me that, that confidence. That's... Oops. Playing that. Okay, uh, tree born to the grave. That's always just needed. To just start it off, and then I'm gonna end. I just, I just like ending, especially since I got battle fader, which just stops their battle phase. So if you, even if he goes fucking insane and just goes for it, um, I'm not dead. And I think he'll special summon a decent amount. So I like Max C as well. Good discard him. We draw a card every time he special summons. Very good. Very good. I just, uh, I kind of just want him to go slow because my deck works at a very slow tempo. His works at a very fast one. Uh, I don't like Light and Darkness Dragon in this deck anymore because everyone plays uh, like three Lila and Lila just shuts down Light and Darkness because it just keeps activating effects, which bothers me. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for cards to go in the deck, put it in the comments because I might be, I mean, I completely didn't think about. Uh, uh, this guy in Light Swans, Herald of Creation, which I'm definitely putting at least one in, because that's very cool. It's a very, very cool card. Alright, let's switch some of that defense. Um, what to do now? What to do? Dark Despair, I think. Yeah, it's Dark Despair. Effect. Destroys all monsters on the field. His deck doesn't seem like the type of deck that would run like. I think he'd be running three decree. Dark Dust Spirit is a very old card. Very cool card as well, though. He's one of the old spirit monsters. Not many of them are around. So, what's he doing? Setting his own monster? Uh, if 
Tactics. So, yeah. Well, he obviously knows what he's doing. Set. Okay, um. Effect still happens. There we go. Okay, um. I I'm just gonna end my turn. I am um, because um, when this guy's flipped face up, he does his thing. Um, and if I set an enemy controller, I can't get tree bomb back. That's one of the problems with this deck, and that's why you need battle faders because you need to be able to protect yourself without having a back row. So let's let's see what happens here. He's got a big graveyard already. He's running effect veilers. Okay. Oh, it's a light with a different name. I kind I do like this kind of deck though, because that gear free is very cool. Very cool. And that Herald of Creation is sick. I can't believe it's any level 7 or higher monster and it's got such it's got such a big attack. That's a really fucking good card. Being a light and everything. Okay. Especially on frog in defense. Um Can't really do much past here. Without doing crazy shit. So we're gonna end and see if he because I need to I need him to come into the field. Or I need to draw something. Because I, I need to get Light and Darkness out, I think, at this point. We'll see. I love Light and Darkness's uh, card art. It's so nice. It's all like dark and light and shit. And it's a dragon. <laughs> okay. I want summon to the grave. Uh, to I'll play plus. Okay, attack direct. Let's get some damage off, guys. Okay, he goes Gores. Um, I can't max C. I, I've got I've got max C. Uh, I've got battle fader. I don't, I don't really need to worry too much. I'm just going to save battle fader until the last life points are about to be taken from me. I, I don't really want to. Yeah. <laughs> See how this goes. Ah, oh, very cool. So he's gonna sink, and I'm gonna use Maxi. Maxi, draw. Okay, he's wow, colossal fight. I haven't seen colossal fighter in a long time. It's a very cool card. Um, pretty much a wall. If you can't destroy him by an effect, then you can't get past him. Um, next turn, I'm going to Soul Exchange and Chaos take them both out. Um, I'm going to take all of this damage, I think. 300. And. Uh, what's he got? He gains 100 for every warrior, so. So 2900. Really? Have I got a warrior? Who's a warrior here? Ah, okay, yeah, 3000. He's right. Alright, that's cool. Uh, we won't use Battle Fader yet because we don't need to. Let's see how this works. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Alright, Treeborn. Fuck's sake, Treeborn. Stop drawing them. They should stay in the deck once you've used them. Um, hmm. I could go Soul Exchange Tribute for Chaos and take that, or I could go Enemy Controller, take that, and then Tribute for that and go for an attack. Uh, I like the attacking one, to be honest. Because I get. I get my tree bomb back. All right, I'm going to take control of Colossal, and then I can get my tree bomb back again because it's a standby phase, and you know it doesn't say once per turn on tree bomb. So let's tribute uh, Colossal for Chaos. Target Gauze. So he'll take a thousand damage if this goes through. And then I'll attack him directly. Watch me use magic cylinder for some fucking god only knows reason. Okay. So let's end our turn. Um, he's on 22. We've got a battle fader just ready for stuff to go down. Alright, solar recharge. I kind of want him to just go uh, crazy, blow up with Judgment Dragon, and then end and, well, and think he's got the game. And it's going to be, you know, 
that point where he's like, oh no, even though I don't really have too much to follow up with. Um, I would like my Dark Dust Spirit back. Tempted to run Monster Reincarnation in this, definitely, just because Treeborn in the Grave, get a Monarch back. It's it's not a bad, it's not a bad choice, I don't think. Uh, what is this guy? He's just a 2600 stick, isn't he? Okay, I can deal with that. I'm very glad that he's just uh, going slow here. Gives me a chance to do stuff. So I don't have to waste my fader. Oh, this isn't good. I need to draw into stuff, but... Oh, wait. Soul exchange. Tribute both for light and darkness, dragon. <laughs> If only I could attack. Alright, Light and Darkness negates all effects completely. So, if he plays a spell, negate it. Light and Darkness loses 500 attack and defense at that point. So he goes down to 23, 18, 13, 8. And that means you've got 4 negations, and he's a big monster. So they have to waste a lot of shit to get rid of him. Light Swans, on the other hand, kind of have an inbuilt way of getting rid of him. Because at the end of the turn they have to mill cards. It doesn't say once per end phase, so they'll just keep trying until it does it. And then Light, Light Darkness will go all the way down to 800, which is the point he stops negating. And yeah. Who the fuck are you? Uh, da -da -da -da. By having 10 or more monsters in your graveyard, once per turn you can special on one level 8 or higher fairy time monster from your hand or graveyard. Its effects become negated, and its attack becomes 4,000. Okay, whatever. That's kind of cool, though. That's very big attack. Okay, so he's just attacking. I'll take uh, 1200. And uh, I get my effect. Effect. Uh, I can special summon any monster in my grave. So I'm going to bring out Chaos and Defense. Whew. Tough, tough game. Tough game. Okay. Pot of Avarice, ooh, I like that card. I like that card a lot here. Hmm. Hmm. Ugly. I have to get rid of my frog to use it. Kind of thinking of Lord of Darkness. But. I think we need to go for it, really. We need to get a Monarch. If not, I'm gonna just, uh. Try and go for game some other way. If I draw any Monarch, I win, I think. Nice. Draw. Come on. Draw. <laughs> Just draw the frogs. We gotta go low. We gotta go for game. Oh, Gores. Why Gores? Yes! Razor! No more summon. Target. And attack for game. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You know that was good. You know I got this. Yeah! No effect, Vela. <clears throat> Punch for game. Admit defeat, please. <laughs> uh, Juju. Uh, yeah, here. Here too. All right. So, I'm gonna go back to here. What did we learn? We learned this is a very slow deck, but it gets the job done. It's... It probably needs a couple of spell changes. Uh, I like the idea of Monster Reincarnation. So let's have a look at that. Monster Reincarnation. Uh, Monster Reincarnation. Discard a card, add a monster from your graveyard to your hand. So when you got those monarchs in the grave and you got that treeborn in your hand, just trade them off. Usually you don't use Monster Reincarnation unless it's something big. I kind of think this is big enough. Um, I don't like having too many cards in my deck, though. I don't like ever having really more than uh, 40. I like Maxia, I like Vela, but they seem a bit out of place. Hmm. I think Vela needs to go. Uh, maybe for a monster reincarnation. Mm, it's tough, it's tough. But I think that's a decent little change in there for the creature swap. Alright guys, it's been quite long, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, by all means, leave them in the comments. Um, 
because this deck needs tweaking, and I need your help. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.